The world's cities are growing fast and infrastructures are having to adapt accordingly. High on that list of priorities is public transportation. Bus networks, ferries, trams, trains, scooters and ultimately autonomous vehicles. At the heart of that innovation is French company Transdev, embracing the challenge of daily mobility in our cities of the future. I'm here in Davos, ahead of the World Economic Forum, to speak to Anne de Bagneux from Transdev. Welcome to the Business Debate. Anne de Bagneux, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Fair to say people have heard of Transdev, but perhaps they don't realise quite how large an operation you have now. Transdev is a global leader in daily mobility. Uh, our sales last year were up to 6.6 billion euro and we are present on the five continents in 20 countries. And that's from conception to operation to maintenance, all different types of transport, from scooters to ferries. Yes, we operate and integrate a large range of transportation modes. We plan uh, trips, we drive, we maintain the cars and we manage the customer relation. Uh, for uh, all our clients uh, in the world, very large cities, for example, Sydney, Seoul, Hong Kong, uh, Bogota, Paris, Dublin, uh, and many others. So what can Transdev bring to a potential client? There's a city somewhere that has a particular transport issue and they come to you to bid for the contract. What can you offer? We face the same challenge together with cities regarding mobility. We need to reduce uh, congestion, we need to improve air quality, uh, we need to reduce the use of individu individual car and we need to increase the ridership on public transport. Uh, I strongly believe that the future of mobility will be co-constructed. Co-constructed with cities, of course, political decision makers, but not only urbanists, for example, sociologists, and of course, citizens, communities, associations. And this is our DNA at Transdev to work together with all the stakeholders and to really perfectly understand the needs, the expectations of the customer, the constraints of the cities, the dynamics of the territory. And once we have this good understanding, we will be able to offer the best package of solution to the PTA. This is how we do in Transdev and we have been very successful recently in two major cities in Sydney. We won a 300 million euro contract to operate a light rail. And the second one is in Bogota, where we won a 900 million euro contract for a BRT bus rapid transit contract. The priorities in Bogota and Sydney are completely different. Of course, and we need to have this understanding of uh, each territory. We cannot copy and paste solutions from one city to another. And in Transdev, we have this unique expertise to do uh, this work. And uh, I'm very optimistic that Transdev will be a decisive change maker regarding uh, mobility. Tell me a bit about multimodality. Our vision at Transdev for future is that mobility will become PACE. P for personalized, A for autonomous, C for connected, and E for eco-friendly. Just to illustrate these four letters, personalized means on-demand transport. Uh, customer wants to choose their modes of transport and maybe they want to change every day. One day they will ride a bicycle, the other day they will take the bus. So we will develop on-demand transport and we will develop digital solutions to uh, uh, build seamless experience, seamless use of different modes of transport. And uh, at Transdev, we have been pioneer in developing digital solutions and we have a cutting edge offering in terms of mass mobility as a service, which is really the future of mobility. Where's the customer experience in that? How will life change for the customer? We have an example recently in Mulhouse in France. Uh, the customer will use his smartphone as a mobility assistant. So with uh, the smartphone, he can use uh, all mobility modes. He can plan uh, the trip, he can buy the ticket, and at the end of the month, he will receive one single, single invoice for all the trips he has done with all modes of transport. So in Mulhouse, for example, it's bus, it's train, it's also parkings, it's also car sharing, and very soon we will uh, add the, the taxis. 
So your new job is heading up transformation. What are your priorities for the future? I guess a lot of it will involve research, technological research. Yes, we have a, a significant portfolio of innovation. Uh, our key challenge is definitely to push digital transformation because digital will be at the heart of uh, uh, the future of mobility. Uh, we work a lot of uh, autonomous vehicles, uh, as I said before. We really believe that AVs will start first be used in collective transport regulated by PTA. And we have a very interesting experimentation in Normandy, uh, in Rouen. It's an open road with six autonomous vehicles. Last week in uh, Las Vegas, in CES, we announced a very large uh, partnership with ZF, a German company, and Ego and we will develop new solutions with them. So AVs is really uh, uh, important for Transdev. People have talked about AVs. The general public understand that autonomous vehicles are on the horizon, if you like. What's your vision of how that will evolve into proper systems of transport within our cities? Probably it will uh, allow Transdev to propose on-demand solutions. For example, first mile and last mile. Basically, what we need to do to uh, help uh, citizens to uh, give up their car is to bring them solutions so they can go from their home, which is sometimes far from the city center, to the hub of transportation. And we will use uh, last mile, first mile solution, which will be on-demand solution. And we believe uh, AVs will be very helpful to uh, answer to this uh, uh, challenge. And is this a future that means that we are definitely moving away from fossil fuels? We don't have any religion at Transdev. Uh, Transdev is uh, the first uh, operator in uh, electric mobility in Europe. We have developed uh, significant expertise, uh, especially in Netherlands. We operate two major contracts, one in Amsterdam, uh, in ship oil area, another in Eindhoven. Uh, we will have more than 1,000 uh, electric buses uh, in 2024, and we also start uh, pushing electric mobility in France and uh, French decision makers are very keen to uh, test electric mobility. But again, we do also experiment hydrogen uh, and we use also Euro 6 uh, vehicles, which are also quite efficient regarding uh, air pollution. So we, uh, we think that the future will be a mix of uh, 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 solutions in terms of zero emission. The citizens of our big cities are all fearful that things will get congested, that they have a future of pollution, a future of disorganisation, a, a future where it's harder to move around. But you seem optimistic. I'm very convinced that we will be a decisive change maker uh, in mobility. Uh, we have talents at Transdev. We have fantastic references all over the world in very large cities. Uh, we have a portfolio of innovation. We have a very strong expertise. We have a clear vision uh, of the future of mobility. So we are embarked in a very uh, important digital transformation. I am pretty sure we will reinvent the model of uh, sustainable uh, mobility for cities. Andabanya, thanks very much. Thank you, Andrew.